Hey guys, so welcome back to Baby Girls Cafe. I'm sorry if the camera angle is a little off today if my head is missing a little bit. But I'm playing around with a new monitor and a new camera and I'm so excited because this is everything I've been wishing for. I just wanted to bring you guys better, bigger quality videos. So I'm so excited to have all my new equipment up and running today. So please bear with me. I'm going to get all the kinks worked out before January comes around. But right now, I'm just really excited. I'm happy to be here. I've made it to one year, and this is truly a blessing from God. I just want to say thank you to all my subbies who've been hanging out with me from day one, to all my new subbies who just came in and started hanging out. Thank you guys so much for tuning in here at Bama Girls Cafe. So you guys know we have a new setup now. I'm going to be starting all of the cooking videos right here in this spot. This is going to be the spot for us here on Mam Girl Cafe. So today we are going to be making Granny Smith apple pies. I love apple pie and I know Thanksgiving is coming up in a couple of days. We got about a week and um, I really love pies. I love apple pies. I love a good homemade apple pie. So we're going to make this apple pie. So first we're going to start off talking about the ingredients that we have. So we are going to be using a pre-made pie crust today. I have a video linked down below if you guys want to see how to make a homemade crust. But today I just think I time for that girl because I got to get this video recorded. And I have to get it edited and uploaded for you guys so you can see how to make this pie if you want to do it for Thanksgiving. So the first thing we're going to start off with is some good old Granny Smith apples. And you need about seven or eight of these and you need the big luscious ones. This is the best time of the year to make apple pie because all the apples are really crisp and fresh. Girl, get your life with you a good old at Granny Smith apple pie. So we're going to be needing some brown sugar, some regular white cane sugar, lemon juice, some cinnamon, nut egg, and ground ginger, some flour, and a little bit of flour to roll out the pie crust with butter I'm going to need a good knife something to peel your apples with a cutting board and your favorite favorite pie, pie crust dish this is one of my favorite ones I have three glass ones but I like this one for my apple pie because so, you want your apple pie to be compact and thick full apples so I like a smaller dish so I can get all those apples crammed into there real tasty and nice so, you guys, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get ready to start this video. I love you guys, and I'll see you back here in a second. We're going to go ahead and get set up so we can slay this apple pie. Honey. All right, guys, we're back. So, I'm going to show you how to go ahead and start peeling your apple. So, what I like to do is just take this vegetable peeler and just go around in a circle. And just keep going back and forth. Now this is so much easier than trying to peel an apple with a knife. This is so much easier. All right, as you can see, we have most of the apples already peeled right here. Whoops, excuse me. We have most of them already peeled. So we're going to go ahead and just peel one more. And then I'm going to show you guys how to slice it up. Now, it's very important that you peel when you um, get ready to start slicing up your apples, that you slice them all the same size so they can cook evenly. evenly and you do not want to slice them too thick. You want to slice them... Um, thin, um, I guess I'll have to show you guys. It's a lot easier to um, show you than it is to explain. But you don't want them so thin that they're paper thin. But you don't want them too thick that they don't cook evenly. Because you want your pies to cook evenly all the way through. So that it'll be quite tasty and that it'll cook right too. Because if you slice them too thin, your crust will be done and your pie and filling won't be done. And it'll just turn into a big old hot mess and your pus, your cr pie crust is... <laughs> Your pie crust is going to get dry and burnt out. Okay, so we have our last apple peel. I'm going to go ahead and remove. I, I love the peel. 
The peel is always the best part of the apple. Mm. The tartness of it. Alright, so what you want to do is take your apple, split it down the middle. Then you want to split it across again. Mm -mm -mm. Then you want to go in and you want to remove that center part, which is the core, because you don't want any seeds in there. And just peel that out. And that part's been cored. And just basically keep removing it. And you want to do this for all of the apples. All right, so now that we've got that part done, we're going to go ahead and just start slicing them. And you want to slice it really thin, about that thin. That's a really good size right there. So be careful not to lose a finger when you are slicing up the apples. Mm. I love Granny Smith apples. I just love apples anyway. If you guys would like to see some more videos on how to cook apples, um, let me know. I'd be happy to get that up for you guys. Yes, so we're just going to keep slicing. And you're going to do this to about seven to eight large Granny Smith apples. And no, this is not going to be too much. You want your apple pie to be really filling and have a lot of apples in it because that's what makes a pie, right? The apples, right? Okay. So I got a little piece of seed on that one. So we're going to just turn it over and continue to slice all of them the same size. Okay, I'm going to show you guys one more time. I'm going to do one more apple. And then we're going to get ready to start mixing up this pie. So like I said, you want to take your apple and split it down the middle. And you want to split it into fours. And then you want to carve out that core part. Sometimes you might have to go a little deeper for the core. That's okay. Just take your time. Don't cut your finger. <laughs> Push all that to the side. All right. That's something I've been meaning to pick up, but I haven't had a chance as a core for the apples, because I eat a lot of apples, y'all. I eat a lot of apples. Okay, so now I'm going to just push that to the side. We're going to continue to slice. And you want to remember, try to keep the apples the um, same um, size, and that'll help your pie to cook evenly. still a piece. Don't judge me. <laughs> Alright guys. So we're going to chop up this last piece. It is a little bit of the skin still on there. So let's just go ahead and roll that off. Alright, so we're going to chuck this over into the bowl. Okay, so I'm going to take a break, finish chopping up all the apples, and then we'll be back to start putting this apple pie together. <laughs> Alright guys, so we are back and we have our apples all peeled. And what we're going to do is we're going to just take the apples and we're going to put them into this aluminum bowl. This is bigger. Yay! Now we're going to take the lemon juice and just pour it all over the apples and we're going to toss it. 
This will help stop the apples from browning. Let's give that a toss. Yes, honey, yes, toss the apples. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I've been sick for like two weeks almost, and I'm just now getting to feel better. So, like, I'm so excited to do this video. I'm just so excited to be back on YouTube doing cooking videos. I love doing my other videos. These are my favorite ones. <laughs> So, okay, now we have that all done. So, give me one second. Now we're going to take the flour and the cinnamon and the nutmeg and the ginger. And we're going to mix those all together. So now that we've got those all mixed together, we're going to add in the brown sugar. And the white sugar. And we're going to mix this all together. So I would like to use a spoon, but you realistically really do need to use your hands. So if you have a hand full of your food, my hands are clean, so no crusts, no germs. No germs, yeah, right, okay. But, um, so you're just going to take it and you're going to mix all of this together. And this is what you're going to get ready to put on your pies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And this is smelling so good. Now, if you don't like one of the spices, you can remove it. Some people don't like ginger. So if you don't like ginger, just remove it from the recipe. But you do need to keep the cinnamon. If you don't like um, nutmeg, nutmeg, I can never pronounce that word right, y'all. Please don't judge me. But um, if you don't like that spice, then you can also remove that one from the recipe. And you just want to go through with your fingers and just break up any lumps that you have. Like if you have some, you know, um, brown sugar tends to clump up a little bit sometimes. But um, just go through with your fingers and break it all up and get everything all smooth. Smooth, okay. So all, as you guys can see, everything's all smooth. It's all ready to go. So I'm going to set that to the side. I'm going to grab my pie shell and I'm going to crack this little cup because you need to use something to ventilate the top of the pie or it will blow on you, okay? So we definitely don't want that to happen. So I have this little cut out and I'm going to hold it up so you guys can see it's like the shape of a leaf. And I got these in a set. So today we're going to be using the Phillips um, pie crust. Um, this is the best pie crust you can buy in the store. I would not recommend trying any other brand. This is the brand. No, this video is not sponsored, but if y'all want to sponsor me, here you go how. But um, yes, this is one of the best pie crushes you can use in the store. So we're definitely going to be using this one today. All right, all right, all right, all right. So let's get these open. And you want to let them sit out a few minutes, 20 minutes before you get ready to um, roll out your pie pan or roll it out to put it in the pie pan. I'm not really going to be worried about rolling out the bottom one. It's more of the top one because I need to make sure that that one is a precise fit. But you just want to take your pie pan and just lay it right there and just, you know, lay it down in there. Okay, so that is achieved. And just take your fingers and just smush it all down into the corner. Don't smush too hard because you don't want to tear the pie crust. All right. So we're going to take that one to the side. What we're going to do now is we're going to take all of this cinnamon, brown sugar, and all the spices and pour it into the bowl with the apples. And then we're going to give it a toss. And you want to make sure that you get every apple coated with this. Every apple needs to be coated. That's very important. So take your time when tossing the apples in the mixture. You want to make sure that all of the apples, you want to start from the bottom and work your way up. And be careful not to like rip your apples or anything. I just 
tore one of mine, but that's okay. It's gonna work out just fine. Okay. And this is the fun part. This is also the most messiest part about um, making an apple pie. Now, as you guys can see, this is a lot of apples. And, and, and the more that I mix it up, it starts to break down. So it doesn't look like as much that was in here at first. So that's why you need a lot of apples if you want a really, really good apple pie. So, <laughs> all right. So now that our apple pie, our apple pie filling is done, um, we're going to go ahead and just dump this into the bowl. Don't be scared, y'all. Fill that bad boy all the way up. Because like I said, it is going to cook down. I had some really big apples. So I may not be able to get all of my apples in here. But I'm going to fill this sucker up. Okay? Put a couple more on there. Okay, guys. So I don't think I'm going to be able to get the rest of those apples in there, but don't fret because I'm going to use those apples for something else later. Wrong. Okay. So let me rinse my hands off really quick and put that to the side. So, what I'm going to do now is pause the camera. I'm going to show you guys how to roll it out and how to do the little cut. So give me one second. All right guys, so we have everything set up. So you're gonna need a uh, rolling pin. You're also gonna need a little bit of water and an egg. And you're going to need a tidget bit Smidgy bit round of sugar, and you're gonna also need your butter to go on top of the pie. You need your pie first. So what you want to do is just take some of the flour and just sprinkle it down because you don't want your pie crust to stick. Okay, and then we're just gonna go ahead and just pull this out. Stuck. Unstick. All right, got that out with a fight. Okay, so we're gonna just go ahead and unroll it. So we're just going to roll it out a little bit, not too much, just enough. And then we're going to just take this little thing, jiggy, this little cutout, and just cut out three of these in the center. So that the pie can ventilate. One thing you need to know about an apple pie is that you need to have some type of ventilation because if you don't, then it will blow out the center. Alright. So now that we have that done, we're going to take this egg and water mixture right here. I'm just going to crack this egg. And mix it together. We're going to use this to base our crust with so it can get nice golden brown. You're also going to need some foil to wrap around the edges of the pie so that while the pie is cooking the edges don't burn and then halfway through the process you're going to take the foil off the ends and that's just to keep it from burning. Alright guys so I'm just going to roll this part out just a little bit more just to make sure that doesn't tear when I pick it up and a little flour to it. 
All right, guys. So now that we have that all done, we're going to go ahead and just place a titty bitty smidgen butter on top right here before we close it. And we're just going to place it like just, you know, break it up and just place it strategically on the apple pie. I'm going to do one more little chunk. All right. So now that's done. What we're going to do now is going to move these rolling pins to the side. And we're going to lay our crust on top. Yes, y'all. This is a big apple pie. <laughs> and I'm so happy that I was able to share it with you guys. I'm so happy. I'm going to take a little piece of that right there. Dip my finger in a little bit of that. And we're just going to place those pieces right there in the center. All right, guys. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the rock, rock, <laughs> roll and tuck method. And you need to do it with this pie, especially because it's so big. So we're just going to roll it. And pinch it while you're rolling. Make sure you pinch. All right, guys, give me one second. <clears throat> All right, guys, I'm back. So now what we're going to do is we're going to baste the, um, the apple pie. I cannot find my pastry brush to save my life. So what we're going to do is just take a paper towel. And you want to roll it up and you just want to dip it in there and then you just want to go around your pie not too much just enough just and this is the way my grandmother actually used to do it she actually never used a pastry brush okay Make sure you got that thing sealed tight, okay? Okay, and I'm just going to do go back in one more time. Then I'm going to take and sprinkle a little bit of sugar on top. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to grab your foil and you're also going to want to place this on a cookie sheet because it may feel it bubble up a little bit. So you want to place it on a cookie sheet. Then you want to start tearing out little pieces of foil because you're going to take the foil and put it around the edges of the pie. Now this is gonna keep the edges from cooking faster than the rest of the pie because the edges tend to cook a lot faster. And if you ever see people with sweet potato pies or apple pies and the edges are burnt, that's because they didn't protect their edges. So what you wanna do is just take the foil and you want to wrap it gently around the edge of the pie. And you don't wanna smush it down too hard, but you just wanna wrap it around the edges And this will keep the pie from burning, the crust from burning. So this is a little bit too big, so I'm going to flip this. Now they do have the pie covers that you can buy in the store. I personally don't like those because they don't stay on and they definitely don't keep your edges, your pie edges from burning. So I just like to use the basic old aluminum foil. Alright, so now we're just going to do this side over here. 
So your oven is going to be set for 375. And what you want to do while you're, um, it's when you put your pie in the oven, you want to let it cook for 25 minutes with the, the uh, foil on. And then after that, you want to take it, the foil off and let it cook for another 25 to 30 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and place this in the oven for you guys. As soon as it's done, I'll be back to show you the finished product. Alright guys, so sorry I had to hit the button, um, but as you can see, the pie is done. Yeah, it's so pretty. It's golden. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. So, I end up having to let it cook for an extra four minutes, which is fine, but it is perfect. It is so crispy. It's golden. It could have not turned out better. So, as you guys can see, we do have a little bit of spinach at the bottom. So, make sure you put a cookie sheet down at the um, put a cookie sheet up under your pie, and that'll stop you from having a lot of spillage in the oven. Besides, you do not want this caramel type sauce cooked to the bottom of your oven. Child, that is a hot mess trying to clean. So, make sure you place your pie on a cookie sheet. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to let this pie cool for about an hour. Then we're going to cut it up and plate it up real nice and pretty. And then we're going to enjoy a slice of apple pie, my loves. See you guys back here in a second. Alright guys, so we are back. I know my head is missing, but I really want you guys to see what's going on. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead. I took those apples that we had left over and the, uh, and the, all the mixture and everything. And I just cooked them up a little bit, you know. So we're going to go ahead and put some of those down on the plate. Mmm. And that just makes a really tasty caramel sauce. We're going to set that to the side. Now this pie is still hot, y'all. But I really cannot wait any longer to cut into it. So let's just cut into it. Mm, mm, mm. So if you're looking for a perfect slice of pie like on TV, you're definitely not going to get that here. Because um, pie is meant to be a little messy. So it's not cooled all the way, y'all. But it is ready to be served, though. Okay. Here we go. And there's your apple pie. It's still warm. You got a little filling left on it. Mmm. Mmm. Alright. So now what we're going to do is we're going to just take a scoop of ice cream. And put it on top of that. Give another good scoop. This is an apple, a little caramel, and here you go. Here is your apple pie and ice cream. And y'all, I'm going to grab a spoon real quick because I just get the feeling this is going to be so delicious. Like, mm. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Mm. With that vanilla ice cream. Oh, my God. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, guys, this is so delicious. This is so good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. <clears throat> so, I probably could have let this pie sit a little bit longer, but I didn't. It's a little thinner than I like it, so I think next time I add just a little bit of cornstarch. So, I'll tweak the recipe for you guys. 
but this pie is so delicious i really love this recipe i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you guys back here in a couple days but in the meantime i'm gonna end this video remember food is love i love you guys um remember to treat people the way you want to be treated the holidays are coming up so do something nice with somebody and remember food is love and i love you guys